Hey, Royal, how's it going? All right. Good. Um, I am already live, if that's cool with you. Yeah, it's fun. All right, perfect. Can I change my avatar quick? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I saw lots of potions. That's quite the the thing you got going there at that main table. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the arrangement. I'll uh, I'll definitely benefit from some of that. So, did you unlock all of them? I don't know. No, I don't see um, visibility. Yeah. Or no, I do. Oh, it should be there. You're right. Dang, that's hardcore. You're only level 15. So, did you just focus on souls? Is that what you did? Or yeah. Okay. And I I pretty much I got like the sorcerers to keep summoning enemies until I got. Like all the souls. Ah, okay. Interesting huh. stuff. Who do we have here? Corn syrup. Oh, he's not a level fifteen. Royal, you forgot yeah, to make it private. Um, <laughs> ah, so anyone that anyone that types in that code can come in. That's crazy. Ah, uh, uh, nice to know our names are being used. Oh, yeah, actually, that is. <laughs> no, that's really weird. So yeah, and you just joined by typing in the code. Yeah, no, that makes very little sense. I don't know how that guy would have known to type that in. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Um All right. Well, I uh as I told you, I kind of just happened to have a level 15 character. I don't even know how long ago I created this guy, so I definitely did not like strategize <laughs> with him. Um, that's all right. And so, yeah, I'm kind of just going to be like support in the back. I have a decent bow. Uh, it's a crossbow with criticals. And so that's probably nice. going to be my uh, only 17 damage, but I guess for level 15, that's not terrible. Um, but there's that. I got a decent dagger and a decent sword. And then I did get vitality maxed out, but now that I kind of think about it maybe that's not the best thing to have maxed out i don't know not terrible but um i do right, have... so you're gonna run a crossbow i am gonna run a crossbow uh, unless okay. i mean i i could potentially do something else but what are you what are you running i was thinking set loadout we're definitely gonna need slowing okay maybe i'll run a staff instead of a bow Okay. Oh, also, before we, we strategize more, I should probably just mention, because I, I didn't do like a YouTube intro, but yeah, I've got Roy Rush here, uh, number one player on leaderboards and stuff, and he is a, he's quite the gamer in Dungeons of Eternity, and uh, he suggested to me that we do a challenge thing where we uh, get two level 15 characters, or three, we happen to have two, and try to complete a tier 7 dungeon right and that's yeah that that's the the basis for what we're doing here so it looks like royal has really strategized and got a a really good level 15 and i'm over here with my <laughs> pretty poor level 15 and uh it might be kind of rough for me but that's okay that's okay so so um so what aspect ratio are you recording on um the landscape Oh, yeah, yeah, right. So, okay, yes, do that stuff. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, let's go through that real quick. So, bit rate frames per second. Yeah, bit rate, I do 20. Do you have okay. enough space? Do you know how much storage you have available right now? As long as you have like 20 gigabytes, which you can check by going to quick settings and then settings, and it should show storage in the left there. 58 gigs. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you're t more than fine. Um, All right. Okay, yeah, so that's good. And the recording settings should be also in that settings thing. I actually usually just get to it from going to the camera app and then click on settings there. And they actually just released share, uh, yeah, shared audio levels, so you can like turn up the microphone and turn down the app audio. But I think 
I, I just haven't maxed. I haven't messed with that yet because it's okay. so new. Um, so bit rate 20, frame rate 30 frame rate, 60? I, I'd do 30. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, that landscape 10, uh, 1920 by 1080. Um, doesn't matter what eye you're using. And make sure you include the mic audio. Include mic audio. Yep. Okay, so. Underneath is shared audio levels. The microphone audio, mine's all the way down. Should I turn that all the way up? Yeah, turn it all the way up. Blast it. All the way up for microphone and app. Easier to okay. work with loudness than quiet. Perfect. So you got that? All right, sorry, I was cleaning my lenses. You're good. So you got that, uh, you got all those recording settings good? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Just started recording. Awesome. And, uh, oh, also the audio settings we, sh we should have synced as well, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, okay. So the, like the in-game sound, I could do what you do, um, but I have voice chat all the way up at 100, music at 20, and sound at 20. Are you similar to that, or what are you at? And wait, that's for the audio settings? That's for the in-game audio settings. Oh, okay. Where's that? Where are those settings at? Yeah, the menu button on the, the left menu, or sorry, the left controller menu oh, button. Oh, yeah. Okay. In game, and then you go to sound, and then it's 20 for okay. sound, 20 for music, and 100 for voice chat. And you can obviously change it back when you want, or if you want to recommend we do a different okay. one, you can do that too. But no, that's fine. Cool. 20, 20, 100. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so I think we're good. You didn't change the other, like the headset audio setting, did you? No. Okay, perfect. No. All right, so then should be good there. Um, and, oh yeah, I was going to get exo perks. Um, so I, I have six exo perks and the only thing I have so far is a maxed out, uh, what is it? Vitality. And so I could either get, I'm thinking the arms perk of, oh, actually I don't even have that bow or range damage perk unlocked yet so that's not ideal uh potion health recovery probably not a big deal i could do blast just to make sure that we don't die to explosion barrels <laughs> do you have that like Maybe what help. yeah what do you um, have so i ran for my feet Jump higher or okay. move faster while yep. in the air. Gotcha. Um, chest obviously is going to be vitality. Okay. Let's do a go. Chest vitality. Well, Mind is no. decreased range accuracy. Oh, oh, chest is vitality. Yeah, so I can't do blast as well. That's yeah, that's a bummer. Um, so then mind. Yeah, I could also do decrease accuracy, but I don't know if that stacks. That might just kind of be useless. Um, let's see. So the chest, I can't get the arms might be the only thing. Maybe I should just go for a leap as well. So I can move faster when I run away. Yeah. Yeah. I think it helps. Okay. I'll do that then. And equip perk upgrade, upgrade and upgrade. Okay, cool. I am level four leap and level five vitality. I should be good here. Um, exosuit, just to make sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I'm set. Oh man, these are such tiny weapons compared to level 60. And <laughs> yeah, now we're either going to make it five minutes in there or five seconds. 
Yeah. Don't think we'll make it <laughs> or we'll just do the whole thing. All right. Well, now I have to ruin your lovely display here. And I'm going <laughs> to steal a couple potions. Oh my. Okay, full on those. Get oh. get full on ice. And I'm not used to using potions, so I'm also probably going to screw that up. I'm definitely... I'm sorry. If you go down, though, I'm, I'm good with the, with the resurrects. But <laughs> using invisibility and haste and all that stuff at the right time is is not my strong suit. But okay. And and ice. I feel like ice is probably gonna be a lifesaver in some situations yeah, here. And uh, without quad damage, we will probably never finish the dungeon. So yeah, good to have stuff. And we gotta make sure we try to share these potions as much as we can. <laughs> Um, and actually, so, uh, yeah, when, when we go through, I guess before we pick, do you want to just, like, right as we go into each room, just pop one of the potions? Like, actually, I don't know. Do you think we should pop potions before we do stuff or pop them if we're in danger? I guess use them as, like, a last resort okay. would probably be better. Yeah, yeah. Because no, we're definitely going to want certain ones for the end fight. True, true. Yeah, okay. Um... All right, well, do you have any particular dungeon you want to do? No, I guess we should do a random one just to make it funner. Random. Yeah, yeah. True. Make it unknown and challenging. You think we should go for a big one or a medium mm -hmm. size? Let's see. I'm looking at them. Stygian Gallows. Called Nexus. Don't look bad. Cult of Nexus. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, the underworld. Sandstorm doesn't have any imps, which would make it easier, but... But there's still a lot of ice enemies, and yeah. ice could be rough. I was thinking go for underworld. What okay. Maybe that? Okay. I, I think underworld, per my opinion, is that underworld is the hardest, and we could do it just because we're, do we're doing a challenge. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, sweet. Tier 7 Underworld. Heck yeah. All right, yep, I've got everything. Good to go with my tiny weapons and my tiny bow. <laughs> this is great. Let's freaking do it. I, I do hope that they come out, the developers come out with some challenges like this where they kind of just create a dungeon or say like, hey, you get this set of of weapons that you can use or you can only be this specific level with these specific perks. And yeah, like challenge mode? Yeah, yeah. Challenge would mode nice. would be pretty awesome and i mean that's still in the roadmap so i i wouldn't be super surprised if they came out with the next update but they haven't really hinted at that either so we'll see yeah all right into the first room let's get it hopefully there's no skulls in here oh yeah for sure okay um yeah we just gotta go up and go get them <laughs> I can do the cheap thing of just like staying up here. Oh wait, I can't. I can't grab my bow up here. Huh? Okay. Oh yeah, slowness is perfect for this. I'm guessing that that's help. your weapon. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, actually. I don't think... Oh, and my crossbow is slowing. That's nice. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Do my best not to miss these. Oh, okay. Didn't even do anything. Oh. <laughs> These guys are so tanky. 
Oh man, oops. Yeah, not having ice kind of sucks. <laughs> Got to imagine. Nice. I I probably should have. I was considering just putting an ice on one of my, or I, I had one weapon that was just lower in damage, but it had ice. Probably should have just gone for that. But oh well. So tanky. Oh, oh yeah. shoot. The zombie. There we go. It's not so bad. No, no, I was I was expecting it would be kind of more chaotic, but I say that now. Maybe it will be. Oh, sweet. Alright, good stuff. We didn't even have to use any potions. All right, um, yeah, I didn't really look at the map, so I don't really know where we're going, do you? Um, no, I didn't actually look either. <laughs> That's okay, we can, uh, we can get this chest over here first. Go snag this, not that we really need it, but I do have a key, you have a key too? Oh okay. uh, yeah. Perfect. And I mean, these are totally useless for us. So, <laughs> whatever. We just get the cosmetics. Um, yeah. Do you still do a lot of uh, just like grinding from level zero to level sixty? Like you go up to level sixty and then you create a new account. Is that? Yeah, when I get bored. Cool, cool. And and do you tend to open the tier one chests when you go through and do that? Always. Always. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I'm guessing you never backtrack either, or maybe sometimes. This is the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, yes, yeah, spiders like and imps. Oh, okay, this is going to be really tough. Oh, gosh, I already got hit by a bomb. All right. Yeah, I'm going to try not to stay in the open here, because that would probably destroy me. Kill. Uh oh. Jeez, it's so tanky. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, I guess if we get hit by those, we can always use haste to get out of it, right? Yeah. I do forget about that. Okay, sweet. That was it. I guess we should backtrack quick. Sure. Let's do it. Keep forgetting I can jump and move faster too. Yeah. Okay, key up here. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, got two keys. Not that we really need them, but okay, it was... I don't really remember which way we're going. I think it's this way. All right, I am going to go up so I don't get attacked from above. And I'm going to go turn off the levers. I hope you can hang in there while I do that. Actually, wait, are the levers? No, the levers are below. Wow, I totally forgot this room.
<laughs> oh man, these guys gonna say take so long to kill. Weapons are so short too. Ooh, ooh. I know. This is perfect. I'm gonna ice these guys. Okay. One, two, and three. Perfect. Oh, okay, we got some bomber imps. I'm just gonna make them suicide, kill themselves. Oh shoot. I almost killed myself. We're good though. Oh, that was useless. Okay, um, I think there's probably an entrance down there, but we can, we can take this one first. Mm -hmm. oh, man, <laughs> not being able to kill zombies in one hit is crazy. Nice, that is a perfect, perfect poison. Or poison, what am I saying? Ice? <laughs> oh, <amen. laughs> yeah also do you see this right here where it's like it's super pixely i don't know if that's... yeah that is that the the um lod swaps maybe Here, level of display let me see visuals no no it's just weird but you see that, right? Like it's it's weird to you too. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that is really pixelated. <laughs> is it normally like that? No, no, I've never seen this. This is. I, I feel like new bugs have been just randomly popping up, and uh, this is one. So I guess that's. There's a bug report right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, key in the hole. Oh yeah. I guess there is the chance that we fail this run and we can use the weapons that we found in this run to do better in the next one. So yeah. there's a benefit of going and taking those things. I'm surprised we made it this far. Yeah. <laughs> I am kind of surprised. Was, but... Is this Underworld? No, yeah, no. This is actually oh, Lava okay, Forge. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't I notice. Went with Underworld. No, that I mean, Lava Forge in theory is supposed to be harder. Like that's, I think the developers kind of designed it oh, to yeah, be harder. Yeah, right. But yeah, no, that's just my personal take that Underworld is harder. Oh boy, uh, lots of bombs. Too slow for bombers. Yeah. Well, we gotta have them suicide kill themselves. There we go. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh, bind you. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna ice these dudes. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, these guys would just take so long to kill if they weren't iced. Oh! Okay. But at the same time, we are using up ice left and right. Oh, another bomber. <laughs> They're just spawning inside of us. You want to just grind? Oh wait, four, let me let me kill these guys with ice. Oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh shoot! No. Okay. <laughs> You're leaving them to me. So one thing that's interesting with the ice potions: after you hit them with an ice potion, you can throw anything at them or hit them with anything, and it'll kill them. Still one shot. Yeah, that is. Yeah. 
interesting, but at the same time, they're still dangerous if you don't, if you miss your shot somehow. All right, perfect. Unique ballista. Cool. I'm like avoiding the lava as if I don't have vitality or something. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't even. I've used one po one uh, health potion so far, but they're just not. I used really... a couple. Okay, yeah, they're not super necessary, but I guess if if we're like going ham melee fighting, it's it's probably good to make sure we're full health at all times. Yeah. Oh wait, where's the other lever? It's the you gotta hit it. The, oh, oh, right. Like at the top of that. Yeah. Wait, at the top of this. Oh, yeah, it's on this side. Gotcha. Here, I'm gonna hit that from here. Almost. Yeah. Oh, right, and then that spawns more enemies. Right. right. Nice little trap. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs so I don't get swarmed down here. Now, with these guys. Yeah, I mean, range, these guys don't do too much damage. But close. It's 25 at hit. Right. Close up, though, they do, what, like 70? I think it's seven. Yeah, if not one shot, because they hit so fast. Yeah. Okay, can I? I can't jump over here. Ooh. Ow. <sighs> yeah, so this is a tough situation where it's not all melee guys, and so harder to just, like, collect them together and ice them. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Sweet. Nice. All right. Now, uh, we've got this room. We already went in, right? Yeah, we came from that. And I think there was a dead end over there, or am I misremembering? No mimic though. Rare shield. Common melee staff. Common melee staff. <laughs> uh, best thing to get in a challenge. I would have sworn there's like a secret behind that thing. <laughs> uh, I wish. That would be very cool. Maybe someday. I'm zombie. <laughs> I do such <laughs> little damage. Holy. Okay. One purple zombie. I do not have a key, but there is a chest. Fantastic. All right. And All right. here we go. So we came from up there. Yeah, this way, I think, is the way. Or maybe there wasn't a dead end over there. Man, a map would be really nice in this situation, don't you think? Did we get the skeleton key? Uh, we did not, no. Forget if that room has it or not. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, this room. We didn't really explore here. Yeah. Okay, now, so. Yeah, we could go take every right turn. Yeah, this works. 
Oh boy. Ow. Okay. Um, I'm thinking ice here. Yeah, definitely. Try um, to hoard them together. Oh man, I want to get some of these sorcerer guys too. If I can get. Yep, here we go. Perfect. Nice. Okay. I'm actually all out of. Oh, jeez. I'm all out of ice potions. I think this is where it gets difficult. Right, and then you have the Chrono Staff, so I gotta give you gems. I do have plenty, so if you run out, let me know. Where are we at? 92, wow. <laughs> uh, chrono is so fun. Perfect, okay. More gems, more good stuff, and we shall continue. We're doing well. Not to jinx it or anything. <laughs> we feel like we're doing a lot better because we know we kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, a, a lot of this game oh, is- Oh, Oh, yeah, no, that is- Ouch. We're good, we're good. Um. Yeah, I don't even need health. Okay, well, a lot of this game is just like, you you don't expect, because it is so random, sometimes you'll have the easiest rooms and then you'll just go into the next room and it is the hardest room you've ever been in. And yeah. uh, that could still happen to us, but <laughs> generally, <laughs> whenever I die in this game, it's just because I'm messing around and letting my guard down, so. I think if yeah. we do a flawless run, we should be good. Even if we don't do a flawless run, I think we're fine. Yeah, we should make another our video at some point then with no ice weapons. <laughs> yeah, oh man. So, but at that point, it kind of just becomes like a, a meat fest. Like we're just, <laughs> yeah, it's just hitting the same enemy over and over and over again. It's not like not necessarily yeah, more true. challenging it it's take just a while yeah it's just more time consuming and Should that's stay alive longer right and so that's that's why i want i mean i'm always kind of advocating for enemies to have more attack patterns and so that they can catch us off guard a little bit better and so those attack patterns can be like engineered in a um in a challenge dungeon and like pre-made once there's some pre-made dungeons and the sandbox mode allows that if that's what's happening but yeah that'll be fun yep oh we're going in here maybe there's a map what do you, do you have like five keys that's or what something? i was expecting yeah yeah okay. i have three three okay there figured the map would be in here yeah me too and this is usually a map room but I guess not. We will be unlucky this time, but never again. Okay, well, next room. And still I've got power, invisibility, and haste. All the strongest potions waiting <laughs> for us to be used. Them to be used. Did you use any of them or are you also just, you've used ice so far? I got Invisibility, haste, power, three of three, all of them. No, I didn't use any. Wow, yeah. I used two ice. Or I might have used three, just got another one from a chest. Gotcha. What in the world? They spawn on the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Ugh. Yeah, stairs do not. <laughs> St like stairs don't ways. work too well, yeah. <laughs> A lot of health. Yeah, I should stop hitting with this. I guess I should say little damage. Yeah, my my dagger does exceptionally little damage. It just I has. My axe looks only twelve. <laughs> yeah, I mean my daggers have double poison, so I figured that could be helpful. But at the same time, if they do no damage, it can be rough. But I mean my my sword I think is twenty, so it's not terrible. And I same with a little my, better. Yeah, same with my bow. But the bow is kind of useless, I'm finding. Oh no! Oh shoot. <laughs> Man, if we died at the same time there, that would have been oh my tough God, luck. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this guy even come from? Okay. And we're good here. Into. Oh, huh. this is the final room. That was. That's fairly easy. Anticlimactic, except I don't know. We we've got bosses to now. If to we're beat. lucky, we won't get the the bee or the wasp. Oh, oh man! We get the yeah, purple wasp. the purple we're probably wasp. Both gonna, yeah, I don't we, know if we're getting through that. So wait, yeah. If we have, if we get the purple wasp, we gotta make sure we use our invisibility right away and just like whack as fast as possible. And oh man, if we. If we go down, because it, it still attacks randomly, doesn't it? So yeah, yeah. So we have to like be careful at the same time of whacking as fast as possible, so that we don't run out of potions by the time we kill it. So yeah, yeah. No, I guess Hopefully. I kind of hope for the the wasp. See if we can beat the challenge. But I don't know. Between him and the knight, the knight's gonna take forever. Oh yeah, the knight will take. I mean, knight's easier, but at the same time, yeah, we might just get tired <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Ugh, lose patience. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. What in the world? Ow. There we go. Can kill zombies. Oh boy. That was a lot of cluster. <laughs> Oh boy, got rammed right into. Nice. Spider. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, another spider. Oh, that was close. Yeah, uh, get ready with your haste. Just in case. Oh boy. And bombers? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it gets crazy. I'm, I'm kind of just keeping my haste out just in case. Also, oh shoot. Wow. 
And I just dropped it as I said that. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I'm kind of just like trying to survive at this point. Maybe kill this spider here. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, finally spider is down. No need to worry. However, maybe we will. Gotta watch out for the other spiders too. Ow. Whoa. Oof, taking some damage. Oh. Sweet. Oh yeah, I guess we are on the last wave, so. Yeah. That's what I just thought. Might as well. Might as well use up potions. Yup. Extra damage. <laughs> oh man. Yay. Oh. That's not a bad one. Wow. Yeah, kind of disappointing. Works. Well, I mean, he's got the enemies spawned. Uh, here, let's, let's use a little power potion here. Oh man, he just continues the spawn. Oh boy. Jeez. Sweet. Ooh, another one. Okay. Forgot to get the potion. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Yay, we did it. That yeah, was pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, if we were level 60s, we definitely would have done it faster, but <laughs> at the same time, it didn't really seem much more difficult than if we were level 60. So, yeah, I know. Yeah. I thought I'd be Oh, back to the outpost. Sweet. All right. We'll... I think I hit 16. Oh, yeah. No, that's perfect that we got this then. Did I hit 16 too? Yeah. Yes. Okay, wow. Well, that was our only chance and we did it. So good job. That was awesome. Let's go. A little too easy <laughs> yeah that's what it feels like but yeah and no, i so what what do you say what do you think from your uh lots of experience in this game what would you say should happen like i know we talked about challenges we talked about um i don't know attack patterns do you think there's anything else that they could add that would like add some more of a challenge to it or like more incentives to try more challenges stuff like that yeah i don't know like i know the sandbox mode may or may not help may or may not Where, why do you think it might not it's kind of like they might just get sick of it too fast kind of like where we're at now mm. like right now i kind of got like all the weapons yeah pretty much everything i'm gonna get right that's why i thought character classes would have been nice yeah like it's i don't know i feel like 
changing the dungeons and adding weapons. It's people are going to collect them and unless they come out with updates fairly fast. Yeah, yeah. But that may just be me too. I think the biggest thing they could do for people like us where we do want to challenge is come out with a realistic mode. I've I had this discussion with some people and like you might be pretty familiar with it, but um, I, I can't like list all the things that would happen with realistic mode off the top of my head, but um, it would be things like rather than when you swing and the speed and range of your swing determine whether you hit or not, the speed and range would determine how much damage you do. So you actually like have to put that effort into every swing for it to actually pay off. That would be like one of the realistic mechanics. And then there could be more things like you don't have automatic aim. Um, and so like, that'd be a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. And like I had throwable on this sword, but if I didn't have throwable, that could have been rough. And exactly like, that's the point. It makes it really yeah. tough so that like, it's not just, basically you you hit the enemies no matter what and like it's hard to miss enemies and it's hard to like being able to back away from enemies when we have the speed um yeah just may and yeah maybe speed wouldn't even be an option in that dungeon and maybe maybe once you're like locked into a a one-on-one -on -one fight or something once you're in front of an enemy you can't back away i don't know that would be that would be weird that wouldn't really be realistic but <laughs> Kind of just be, like yeah, pretty tough. brainstorming here. I feel like it could be kind of cool. And and like if you kill an enemy, their weapon falls, you pick it up and you go and try to kill the next enemy with it. Or maybe you have weapon durability yeah. too. Um, that would be cool. Yeah. I don't know. Stuff like that. And then, I mean, the things that I've really wanted is like I've kind of mentioned the uh, dungeon challenges. And if we had leaderboards tied to the challenges and say like there were even as few as five four or five challenges it could be cool to just like try to speed run that challenge and and you could just like try to beat your highest score by half a second every time that you do it yeah and there they could should be like add a like global a global thing monthly leaderboards yeah or weekly monthly and That'd weekly yeah for for total kill counts and stuff um yeah but yeah, no, I mean, I think there's there is a lot of potential, and the the update that they're cooking, I'm sure, is going to be a lot of fun. And whatever it is, I'm excited. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens here. I guess I'll I'll add to the pile here. <laughs> I thought yeah. we would go through them like in the first room. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we were being so conservative with them that it just didn't mean anything. Oops. Feel me having an ice weapon kind of cut that time in half. Yeah, yeah, it probably did. Yeah, ice could, and like ice in the realistic mode would probably not allow you to one shot yeah. enemies. <laughs> um, and we had an easy boss, so. True, true. It's always that. Yeah, if we had a wasp. Yeah, I mean, I think if we were to do this challenge again, say they don't add any of those things that I talked about and they we don't really get challenges next update, we could still do something like this, but we could find a save dungeon and we, yeah. don't, we wouldn't have to be level 15. We could just give ourselves the worst weapons that we have. And like, if you have a level 60 character, you just keep your basic weapons or something. And yeah, yeah, we could try with that, but yeah, no, I, I think there's yeah. there's a lot of stuff we could do. And either way, it was a fun challenge. I'm glad you asked me to do this. Let's try to think of another one for next time. <laughs> oh, we'll come. I up definitely with need to add more staffs or oh. like more magic. Oh yeah, that would be that would make it. Yeah, I don't even the necessarily rough right because of like the gem but yep a spell book or something or i don't know something around those lines yeah yeah i agree and i i think um I, there, there's just there's so much stuff that you can do with these staffs like, yeah the fact I that i feel like the magic oh go ahead yeah the the staffs are just like point and click like a gun yeah yeah and you could change it to I mean, maybe you still have the point and click and the point and click is like the wimpiest attack and it does the least things and whatever else. Maybe it does exactly what it already did or just nerfed or whatever. But then 
I mean, I always talk about this idea of, uh, what, what is it? Uh, gesture based magic and that you have That'd to perform cool. a gesture to actually do something. Um, and yeah, no, I'd love to see that. And that you have like maybe three different attacks that you can do per staff. And that would just open so much variety yep. to the game. You wouldn't have, have to add yeah. staffs, but you could. That'd be awesome. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I think with magic, they would like, I guess it really doesn't tie into character classes, but I feel like it would like it would go good with character classes. Yeah. Yeah, it could. I, I always feel like if they balance the game properly, then in my head, maybe I'm naive for thinking this, but I think that balanced properly, the ranger archer support role having three of those or like one of each in a party should be the optimal setup like that should be the best way to get through a dungeon to survive and to clear it the easiest and yeah maybe like the most efficient too um but yeah just the fact that right now like a support role is basically just grabbing the healing staff and healing people that don't need healing because they can just drop down potions or yeah. something. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It it would yeah. be cool if, like, the healing staff or other staffs gave buffs to you and maybe did other yeah. things. You can... Maybe, like, spell books there's, could do cool stuff, too. I don't know. Yeah, I think there's, like, one time the healing staff comes in hand, and that's when you join a game late and the people are already down because you can't res them. <laughs> so the only way to res them is to find a mimic or healing staff. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, though, yeah, it's pretty. It's not really too helpful, I guess. Yeah. Unless you're walking a lower level down up, or like showing a lower level how to play. Right. Yeah. No, I feel like basically all of the staffs are pretty useless, aside from the Chrono staff. Uh, like the four, yeah. yeah, the four staff is just kidding. like a worse version of the Shockwave staff. The Shockwave staff just doesn't do enough damage yeah. to really mean much. Like you can get it surrounded. Helps if you're frozen. That's about it. Yeah, well, exactly. And and it helps like if you're surrounded by enemies and you don't want to get clustered, but at the same time it's uh I don't know. I I don't feel like it you can usually just jump out of that or like run away or whatever. So Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think that also right. ties into being able to sprint so fast and makes it tough. But yeah, actually that shockwave staff. Oh, what in the world? I didn't know you could do that. Wait. Yeah. Did you mean to do that? Yeah. What? What, so you just like toss it up into the air and what in the world? How so you... if you throw a potion or anything, yeah. like, and leave the room, it freezes in time. Oh. And then when you get closer to the door, it drops it. Interesting. Okay, so. Yeah, I only just found this out the other day. Oh, wait. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It stayed up there once I couldn't see it anymore. Yeah. Like Interesting. Now it's up there. Yeah, and then it drops. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, you are always finding those interesting little things. Oh, actually, did you know the the shockwave staff? Um, where you can you probably you probably know this, but you you know that you can charge it and then just like put on your back yeah. while it's charged. So when yeah. you grab it, yep. it just automatically goes. Yep, yep, and that. That's yeah. like a good crowd control, but again, we just don't really need that crowd control. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, they really just made them as like a, I guess like a support weapon. Yeah, mainly I don't know, but definitely not for like. I think there should be like a mage class that can use magic to like damage. Yeah, like, no, I think they kind of just made it for fun. Like it is, it is pretty cool, yeah. especially when you're a beginner at this game and you haven't played much. Yeah, it is fun. Go in and yeah, like see. Oh, I can move these enemies around with my gravity staff, or I, I can shock them, and I can make sparkly things. And just putting the gem in the staff is fun. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, once you get to play as much as I have or you have, it just doesn't doesn't hit quite. By the, the time same. everybody hits fifty or sixty. They nope. usually stop using them. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> by that time, it's like, <laughs> oh, I just I want to. I want to grind up. I want to get my perfect weapon, and this this staff is kind of just holding me back <laughs> from grinding <laughs> to it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I definitely feel that. 
but I don't know. Um, I guess, are there any other like, uh, conversation points or any, uh, anything that you want to see in Dungeons of Eternity that you've really been thinking about or I don't know. I don't know. Anything else to mention? Not really. Fourth player would be nice, but I understand that's kind of hard, especially with the enemies and everything. Yeah. No, I I think that's more in the realm of possibilities uh, as they've talked about it more. And I think personally, I, I think it's possible if they go the route of making enemies more difficult rather than making them stronger and yeah. that like they could have less enemies spawning because the whole problem is so many enemies spawn at once that our heads yeah, just laggy yeah just can't, can't take it especially when there's two or three mainly three people in a game um but yeah if it's only like i don't know double the amount of enemies as players possible in the room which i think is already kind of the case but like eight enemies is is kind of the max i think there sometimes are more um but if it just stays like that and you add a fourth player the fourth player shouldn't in theory add too much more lag and yeah if the enemies are harder then it would make sense that you can do this and i i think like bigger raids and uh or like bigger enemies more boss fights and having more uh attack patterns with those boss boss fights would definitely help that in a sense but i don't know yeah we'll we'll see and and i think pc vr eventually that should, i i don't think they should go down the route of like only allowing pc vr players to do four player and then everybody else gets three um <laughs> but I, I feel like that might be in the realm of possibilities for testing purposes or something. Um, but who knows? I, I do know that that's something that many people want. And I agree. That would be really cool to see. But uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll see. All righty. Well, thanks for doing this again, Royal. I think it was a great idea. And we should keep them coming, try to make these challenges. I, I did a, I don't know if you saw my video that I did a while back, but I made like a challenge video before we got tier seven of like a tier six challenge where I only did a specific thing. I, I didn't give myself good weapon. I think it was no exo perks. I think that might've been it. Okay. Yeah. No exo perks is a decent challenge. Um, But yeah, no, we could, that sound good. we could come up with so many more or like, only one weapon challenge or uh staff only challenge i don't know just yeah, fun. random things like that and ideally we don't want to make the challenges so that we're just grinding for it and we're taking like endless amounts of time but that it should yeah. just, it should be hard so that's what i was actually worried about with this but that actually went fairly quick yeah yeah, no, it did. Actually, spent less time in there than I thought. I know, me too. By a lot. Yep, yep. I thought we were either going to go down within 30 seconds or spend about like two hours at right. least. Right, just like trying over and <laughs> over again. But we wouldn't have yep. even been able to do that or or at least say that the title was level 15 challenge anymore because yep. we put it at level <laughs> 16. But that's okay. Um, we did it yeah. first try and uh, yeah, no need to worry. And I, I think if we do a future challenge... A level specific challenge might be tough especially if we make it more challenging yeah. i mean i think we also had an element of luck this time but um yeah same yeah no i, I think <laughs> it could be it could be interesting we'll, we'll find something else to do um but yeah in the meantime i uh i'm sure i'll keep seeing you on the leaderboards and around in the discord and i i do like watching those um fast videos that you do the like uh i don't know i think you did like a, oh, yeah. a staff only one where you just like sped yeah. through because they're like, like 20 30 and... minute videos if not longer right it's right just a lot of me smacking them <laughs> yeah so yeah that, that's fun to see and yeah if if you aren't already in the discord if you want to see royal rush smacking down enemies with interesting challenges then he is in the com- community content channel in discord <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing any YouTube or anything? 
No, I would have no idea where to start. Okay. Well, if you, for any reason, want to start, I am totally available to help, happy to help. And in fact, I, I want more people to start doing videos like mine and, and just like doing more interesting things. Like I, I have so, a backlog of ideas that I could use and create a video out of, but I have a limited amount of time and a limited amount of, uh, I don't know, consciousness. <laughs> so it would be, <laughs> would be nice to get more people in there. Um, doesn't have to be you. I know you're the leaderboard God, uh, and we can have, we can have other people in there, but would be cool to see. But yeah, again, good stuff. And uh, I guess, uh, have a great rest of your, it's not quite the weekend, but great what rest of your week. Yeah. And, uh, we'll do you too. Yeah. I will catch you later. Oh, oh, one more thing. Before I end it there, make sure you send the, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it later, but like try okay, to send the video, that, the video. Yeah. And then, so what should I send? I can send you a link. Oh, I'd have to text that. So how would I send that? Yeah, I can, I can give you a Google drive link and you can put it into that, into my Google drive. So it's like using my space in the Google drive and you just okay. basically drag and drop it from your. I don't think you can do it directly from your headset. If you have a laptop, you can put it on the laptop or PC or whatever. And then from okay. the PC to the Google Drive. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. But other than that, yeah, good stuff. And I will catch you later, Royal. All right. I'll see you. See ya.